Good morning, my darlings, and welcome to my favourite vlog of the entire year to film. Today is the first day of Vlogmas 2023. I'm so happy that you guys are here joining me for this epic month of festive, festive, festive fun here on the channel. I'm going to be vlogging every single day until Christmas, so stay tuned. 5pm there will be a new festive vlog every single day. I know that some of you might be new to the channel so if that's you then hello and welcome. I'm Josie and I live in a very old 14th century beautiful home in the Cotswolds with my husband Charlie who will be appearing frequently in the vlogs. It's our first Christmas as a married couple and our two gorgeous little sausage dogs Dexter and Dickens. We've got so many incredible things planned for this vlogmas. I'm not going to give too much away but stay tuned as well as lots of regular vlogmas favourites so if you have watched vlogmas in previous years then there'll be lots of things that you are very familiar with which I can't wait to bring you along to celebrate and to see. Today, you might be thinking, Josie, your background is not very festive. We've seen your your drawing room before. Well, today is Christmas festive floral install day. One of my favorite people is arriving to the house in about 10 minutes time. And we are going to be transforming our old home into a winter wonderland. I can't wait. If you've seen our festive floral installations in the past. This year we're going bigger and better than ever. It's gonna be incredible. So my darlings, welcome to Vlogmas 2023, or as we like to call it over here, Christmas in the Cotswolds. are here, oh, Nem, hello. say hello to Vlogmas, <laughs> and Sam is here. Hi guys. This is exceptionally exciting. The only other time I've seen your van so full of flowers was our wedding. Yes. Wow. Sure. And you just did the most incredible job. You don't like coming empty-handed. Of course. Easily this that. van never arrives empty-handed. So Nem, can you explain what magic you're going to be creating today? Oh yeah, we are bringing Christmas in your house. Christmas to today. the Cotswolds. To the Cotswolds. So yeah, we're going to do like a beautiful arch in here. Like, a mega arch. A mega arch. A mega arch. I love happen. that. And then a couple of uh, little tricks inside. Little tricks later. inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exciting. And we brought a selection of the beautiful, well, I would say winter. Winter foliage. Bit, winter foliage, yeah, with a touch of autumnal as well. Gorgeous. And, and mix of pines. Look at these. The winter, like the big cedar branches. Beautiful. And this is from one of your friends' estates. Yes. 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 Nem knows yeah, all the best places. Kind of tricks that we pull from connections. Oh, look at that! And with the pine cones still attached. This is attached. for the lazy florist. It already comes with. Oh wow! <laughs> comes. I don't think I've ever seen pines that look like that. large. It's beautiful. My goodness, where are you going to put this one? Oh yeah. We'll see. Is it a secret? We'll I love how secretive we'll you're being. We'll see. We'll see. And Nem. Apples as well. Actually, they go perfectly with the, with the leaves on the floor. Yeah. Absolutely look beautiful. We want to look. Gorgeous. Oh and my these goodness. are English hydrangeas. Gorgeous. And then a little bit of Holland as well to help with everything and give a color with the blue. Amazing. Look how beautiful this goes with the, with the pine. Yeah, it really and does. And blue. hydrangeas are one of the only things you see blue naturally, aren't they? True. true. Yeah, uh, it's they so special. The color based on the soil. 
Oh, and yeah, of course. And inside you have more. More <laughs> in the flowered van. Oh, beautiful. What would be with our little bit of red berries? Oh, wow. Simple. And you know what, Nem, if you run out, there's plenty of that in the hedgerows around here. Well, I've seen like <laughs> <laughs> I've seen You could have just that I could actually easily bought your secateurs. Exactly. This. It's a Christmas on its own. This and is like then, Santa's grotto in here. Exactly. And then Ooh. Nem wrote a little bit of my tradition, because this is very traditional in my... What is the corner of the land? Neck of the woods. Neck of the woods. Uh -huh. um, it's an oak tree. Beautiful. So we're going to add too. a little bit oh, of... That and, uh, you have that. Well. We have, yes. over there. <laughs> Gorgeous. So, and you know what we like. We like, uh, in your wedding as well, we use uh -huh. the flowers that you always already have in your Exactly. Garden, so it's the same thing. It's yeah. as though the house just got overgrown with winter wonderland exactly. foliage. Exactly. Oh and my goodness me. Ilex inside. I love Ilex. And yeah. then the more roses. Beautiful. The little one. Gorgeous. Very cute. And then some other bits and bobs that you will see, like a lot of dry fruits as well. And um, you really think you're going to get all this done in one day? Yes. A couple of hours. <laughs> a couple of hours! I love <laughs> no, your optimism. Was, yeah, okay. Amazing. Well, I'll wow. pop the coffee machine on. Oh, yeah, coffee machine in a couple of hours. Yeah. Gingerbread lattes. Well, this just shows your versatility because what you created at the wedding was wild, but it was like light and fresh and exactly. pretty. Whereas this is also wild, but wild just totally well, different. It will be it will be kind of fresh and pretty as well, but a little bit more. I would say louder. Louder. Okay. You Have you ever bit done bit like a festive house takeover for, like this before? Exactly. But the Christmas for me, everyone says less is more. <laughs> I disagree. Me, more, more, is, more, more. is more and there's no other way and especially for Christmas you need to go a little bit over the You do and so subtle is not is not a word well. that we'll be using today. Okay, yeah. good luck my friend. Thank Let's you. do it. Yay. We'll see you in a, <laughs> in a few hours. hours. Okay, okay my darlings, a little festive road trip. The only thing that makes it a festive road trip is the fact <laughs> that it's vlogmas. So I am heading to Soho Farmhouse just for a manicure um, and Charlie would argue the timing is very bad because it's a busy day at the house I would argue that it gives Nem, Sam and Martina a little bit of space without me hassling them all the time so um, yes I'm heading out for a couple of hours I'm gonna get a nice chai gingerbread latte from uh, Blake's just had a mind blank what is the cafe called Blake's oh they've already started putting a few bits up on the archway it's gonna be totally transformed by the time I get home it's gonna look so exciting yay see you later <laughs> um ah I just love it today today is the day that I really start to feel so festive when the house gets taken over and Nem said it's gonna be if the wedding he said if the wedding flowers was a meadow he said this is gonna be a forest a festive forest and I absolutely love that um, but yeah heading to the farmhouse it's so cozy and lovely and festive there my nails are super long and at risk of breaking so we're gonna bring them down a little bit add maybe like a festive crimson or something I'll see what colors they've got I think I'll save nail art until closer to Christmas um, but yes I'm so looking forward to getting a nice warm cinnamon bun and a gingerbread chai from Blake's and sitting in the gorgeous cozy little cow shed spa for a couple of hours halfway through driving to farmhouse um, and I got stuck behind a really huge lorry and I'm not gonna lie we don't normally have huge lorries my Christmas tunes are gonna stop there in a second let's turn that down don't normally have huge lorries on this lane um, Basically, a lorry just knocked a huge tree from a branch, like ginormous. I just had to drag it to the side of the road and it landed on my bonnet um, and like exploded. And I feel like there might be bits stuck under the car. That does not sound right, does it? Oh God, we're gonna have to have a look. Ah, oh, all I wanna do is get my nails done. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at what I'm dragging around with me. That's what that noise was, right. Oh my gosh. Oh, that does not sound good. <laughs> Here's a little after. I decided not to do crimson, but to get a nice chocolatey, I'm gonna call it my dark gingerbread hot chocolate nail 
feels perfect for an early December. Sadly, it is raining. I've got the brolly attached to my wrist, but I'm gonna sneak around the back here and head into the little Blake's Deli and sneak into the Blake's Deli here for my chai. goods this is their oat milk gingerbread chai latte <gasps> yummy i think this is quite possibly one of the best chai lattes i have ever had i actually asked her if she wouldn't mind sharing the ingredients of the gingerbread spice mix that they used so as you might be able to guess i'm definitely going to try recreating this at home so much nicer than a syrup that you get in most coffee shops it was freshly freshly ground spices Okay, my darlings, I have got my gingerbread chai latte and three cinnamon buns. They are ginormous, so it'll definitely be enough for all of the florists and Charlie, Chloe and I, and probably Lilla as well, for today and maybe even tomorrow as well. This is so delicious. And I do have a real sweet tooth, but sometimes I find that like your typical high street coffee shop coffees, especially the like pumpkin spice lattes and gingerbread lattes of the world, the fact that they use a syrup, I just find too sickly. And as much as I love sugar, <laughs> that's it's just not, not what I want. Whereas this, I saw her use a teaspoon or a large spoon from a spice jar, a gingerbread spice jar, and I asked her what was in it, and she gave me, she gave me the ingredients, so you guessed it, I'm definitely gonna try recreating that at home. I feel like I've got gingerbread, gingerbread people, ginger people, on my knit, gingerbread in my latte. Mmm, yummy. And I feel like I'm fully back in my Soho farmhouse era. <laughs> I think that if you watch the regular vlogs as, as well, you'll know that um, we live really close by, but from the beginning of the year, we had like a period where we just weren't really coming here, and I think it just it just got so busy here, and um, as a result, unfortunately, the service got a little bit slower. But I feel like they're back. <laughs> they're back to being wonderful, and it really is such a gorgeous, cozy place. And I have to say. That manicure was such a gorgeous experience, so it was the ultimate cowshed gel mani and it included my hands being wrapped in a warm towel with actually like a hand cream mask on them after I'd had a salt scrub after the mani was complete and while my hands were in this warm towel with the mask on she gave me a very thorough deep head, neck and shoulder massage and it was just the most delightful experience and the spa there is gorgeous, it's really cozy, you're in a soft sumptuous leather armchair, it's very peaceful so yeah, <laughs> officially back in my Soho farmhouse era which is such a silly thing to say but anyway my darlings, um, time to head back home, my car has been charging while I've been pampering which is another thing that I love about here, free electric car charging and I'm so excited to see what Nem, Sam and Martina have created while we've been out so without further ado let's get home and check on our festive floral installations. What a transformation, oh my goodness me. This is definitely the wildest and most voluminous arch that we have ever had. Oh my gosh. Nem and the flower team always just exceed my expectations in every way. We do of course have a wreath coming. I'm not sure if we're going to do that today, but wow, I will get Nem to come out and explain everything that is on here, but I can see hydrangeas, I can see oak leaf, I can see quite possibly the most giant pine cones I have ever seen in my life. We've got crab apples, we've got holly, 
we've got oh my goodness pine conifer you oh wow absolutely spectacular and the sun has even come out to give us the full illumination wowza what an entrance to our festive floral wonderland and the leftovers <laughs> which i'll think of something creative to do with them perfect timing we're having a team soup break for lunch chicken broth and carrot and coriander yeah That's yummy the current situation in our entrance hall it is a floral it looks like a flower shop to be honest we've got a wreath here that nem is going to be decorating shortly some teasels we've got half a christmas tree <laughs> All right. I actually don't know what the plan is for this, but I know that they are going to be starting on at the fireplace garland after lunch. My goodness, it's just going to look absolutely incredible in here. If only you could smell this room. I did think maybe I'd light a festive candle to get everyone in the spirits, but we've got the authentic version of the fragrance with all of these bits. Various bits of yew, pine, conifer so many incredible hydrangeas the peppercorns the iris iris ilex and we just had a little rummage in my ribbon collection we've got some burlap ribbon and this kind of they called it the country green hessian ribbon that i ordered from amazon for gift wrapping i think they might be incorporating that into the designs in here oh my gosh <laughs> I just absolutely love the mess. I love seeing all of the bits all stacked up. They've got um, a few of our decorations as well that they can use. Some little dried apples, cinnamon sticks, dried oranges. These are some of our leftovers from last year, the pheasant feathers. It's just, oh look, here's a wreath halfway through being made. So they've popped hydrangeas, pine cones, apples and cinnamon leaves on here. Cinnamon sticks rather. Gosh, it's all very exciting. We wondered why Dickens was so quiet while we were having our lunch and I've just found this on the floor. My it's little now, fat <laughs> bun. You are the it's guilty that party. It's that one. Mummy, you must learn not to it's leave yummy one. treats in your handbag. Well, Dexie, do you want to have a I mean, look. <laughs> A Blake's Deli cinnamon bun. Did you, I can't believe you didn't finish it, my sweet filet. You didn't like it. You're a piglet. You're yeah, a porky pig. Your trouble. Did you enjoy your cinnamon bun, my little fat sausage? You minx. You're a minx. Daddy, don't. Well, the sunshine has decided to come out. Much to my little boy's excitement. It is crazy how not cold it is at the moment. It's still feels, I don't want to say summery, but definitely not very wintry in our garden. My cinnamon roll thief. This is the next area that's going to be flowerified. So this is our archway between the kitchen and the living room. And this is where we spend, as you know, most of our time relaxing by the TV. <laughs> so I think they might do something a little bit fun on this fireplace, but as you can see, there's now a wire threading over the top, some foliage that Dexter is keeping a close eye on. So next time we see this archway, it will have had a festive makeup. have been doing the archway. Martina has been busy creating a beautiful wreath. So here is our beautiful wreath. Wow, created by Martina. So you're gonna get some red ribbon to pop it up there? Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. So what have we got in the house? Yes, absolutely. Because it's pretty much, because we only really use this room for like what? October, November, December, January, February. Uh -huh. And there's always a wreath on. <laughs> Nem reckons almost. he can lasso. <laughs> <Almost. laughs> oh. Well, two more for tries and then you can do it. One more, come on. Ah, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna get you a ladder. Yeah, because then it's just clear of the. Oh, you um, can sit actually here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love how traditional it is. That is beautiful. So are you leaving? No. Yeah, I'm yeah. So there it is, our first reef officially hung above the fireplace. We've used this beautiful deep crimson ribbon, and it's so traditional. With the hydrangeas got some cones, peppercorns, cinnamon sticks. My goodness, now Martina's going to make the second one for our front door and that one is going to match the archway. We've been upstairs for about an hour just having a teamwork meeting and Nan and Sam have been so busy creating this forest of foliage between the kitchen and the living room. They're going to add some lights in later. So magical, oh my gosh. And then the next project is um, doing something over the fireplace. Unlike last year where we just had the pines on one side, they've actually made it double-sided. So we've got a little bit of foliage on this side too so it really does make you feel like you're walking into a winter wonderland forest we've got the pine cones we've got eucalyptus hydrangea gosh it's looking so magical and now finally we are going to head over to the store and get out our ginormous christmas tree <laughs> taking a much needed cinnamon bun break and I just wanted to show you the front door wreath which matches in with the archway. It looks absolutely incredible. As with everything else, wild and wonderful. Martina has done an incredible job. So much beautiful vivid red ilex in there. Hydrangeas, we've got the lotus flower which is these ones, dried lotus heads, pine cones, little hydrangeas, we've even got the limes, beautiful ribbon, it's just absolutely incredible. Looks so beautiful, I can't wait to show you everything tomorrow in daylight again. It's just gone four, so it's starting to get dark already. lighting but as you can see I'm not going to show you the fireplace just yet but it's looking absolutely incredible we're just using a few of the touches that we've got in the fireplace for my entrance hall table um, display I've just taken some of the more autumnal leaf bits out and now we're gonna add some festive touches back in Hard to see where the central flower display starts and the fireplace stops but oh my goodness I don't think you'll be able to draw your eyes away from this absolute masterpiece I will show you this in a little bit more detail it's just absolutely stunning a whole wild garland of hydrangeas ribbons we've got some bracken all of the same floral ingredients that we've used throughout and it just frames this fireplace in such a magical way. I've added some ilex and some conifer 
and a few more hydrangeas into this uh, what was a very autumnal display just to bring in a little bit more festive colour but I'm going to see if Nem can take a look at it give it a few tweaks to add those magic touches what is going on in here? are you having a play fight making lots of noise because the attention is not on you? we've not been getting enough attention all day my little soft pink tummy children. time for another little break and this is not just any hot chocolate this is a Charlie and Josie speciality hot chocolate fresh cacao flakes in the velvetizer with a nice organic whole milk with a giant marshmallow and chocolate sprinkles on top and I think they deserve it this is the archway illuminated with the fairy lights you've got a little sneak peek behind my chocolate creating I just love how wild it is if you compare this to last year's which was very formal and neat but this is just so inviting framing the fireplace which is equally as wild a little bit harder to see as it's so dark now but my goodness they've just worked true magic <laughs> to give Charlie credit for. Initially, I was a little bit annoyed that we had only giant marshmallows to go on top of the hot chocolate instead of little ones, but this is actually melting into the hot chocolate and giving it almost like, oh, can you see the most amazing creaminess? Making this hot chocolate a 10 out of 10. <laughs> so we've got the house back to ourselves and Charlie is in the kitchen in your happy place. What's on the menu, darling? We are having a recipe inspired by Julius Roberts. Which Your favourite. In the supper club we went to. Mm -hmm. um, and he does it with pumpkin, but we're just having it with what we've got in the fridge. We've got butternut squash. The last um, of the autumn veg. Yeah, so it's a really simple dish. He has on, he uses onion, we don't have any onions. So Do we not? Loads of garlic. I can go and get one from the garden. Yeah. Well, actually, Do you want me to? Yeah, actually, yeah. yes. Okay, so it's going to be onion, garlic, saute that off. Then we're going to get the butternut squash in there, cut it into cubes, mm -hmm. then the sage, then add the pasta, mm -hmm. then loads of parmesan. I'm also going to add pine nuts and spinach. He doesn't do that, but I just think we need some more nutrients in there. Nice. Um, and it's just going to be a nice sort of comforting dish. Lovely. Right, darling, sounds delicious. I'll go and get the onion. So we are going foraging, <laughs> foraging by torchlight for ingredients for our dinner. I'm trying to persuade Charlie to blend the sauce and make it kind of like... A butternut squash mac and cheese but I think he wants to keep keep it solid which is fine there won't be um won't be too long until we're doing a pumpkin mac and cheese on the vlog vlog rather right so we're just using a couple of these spring onions Look how magical the Christmas lights look from the outside. That is such a welcoming sight. Well, this looks delicious. Did it turn out how you expected? Yep, <clears throat> pretty yep. much. Can't see much butter in there. Yeah, it breaks down. That's the thing. Mm. I mean, if you add more, because I know you like it more saucy, I just added a bit more starch water. Lovely. As you, so it breaks down, so you don't need to blend it. Mm -hmm. look, Looks great. Thank you, darling. Yum. Dexter? Dexter, no. Daddy, I quite like some. I'm a fan of butternut. I'm a fan of butternut. Oh, 
Okay, my darlings, Charlie and I are both feeling very full after our butternut squash mac and cheese, but we mac couldn't... What did I say mac and cheese? Not really sure. I guess... It wasn't a mac well, and cheese. It's not macaroni. No. It's and it funny, wasn't right? that cheesy. Yeah, it's funny how we make macaroni and cheese with not macaroni, and then it technically is just pasta with cheese, right? So all, most of your macaroni and cheeses are not actually macaroni and but cheese. But they're very nice. But they're nice, right. Right, so... Any of you that have watched Vlogmas before, you might recall we do have something that has become a rather wonderful tradition as part of our Vlogmas. Would you like to explain this tradition, darling? Well, it wasn't for Vlogmas, but it no, works quite nicely. It does. Josie's birthday is exactly a month before Christmas, give, it, give or take a day. <laughs> and, uh, there, and she's already a very hard person to buy for. Yes. I think everyone is increasingly more difficult to buy for as they get older. Mm. But obviously we're in a fortunate position in the job that we do. We obviously work with a lot of beauty brands, a lot of fashion brands. So you're not easy to buy for. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think this is the fourth year doing it, but I came up with the idea that I would make you an advent calendar. As a birthday gift. As a birthday gift. So you get the gift, you get the advent calendar on your birthday with a couple of small gifts. And then the advent calendar is essentially 25 gifts yeah. throughout December. Mm -hmm. Not all of them are sizable some of them might be a pair of socks or um something cozy or a, something to eat mm. um but then throughout the calendar there's probably about seven or eight experiences that a few of which we still haven't done from last year's event calendar well yeah well, what have we not done from <laughs> we oh, haven't done harry, harry potter, potter world that's the only one is it the only one yeah we've got a couple of vouchers that people have given us for other things like oh, right. my mum and dad gave us the, the cursed uh, child yeah which is also harry potter related which yeah. we must do yeah, I think we rearranged the Harry Potter world. Didn't we say we were going to do it one day and we just got busy? But anyway, long story short, that's, that was the idea. It's worked well. It is... If anyone else is thinking about doing it, uh, I wouldn't... <laughs> Look how exhausted it, he looks. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm knackered now. But it's also a bit our busiest time of year, right? A lot of mm -hmm. people actually, December does tend to be a bit quieter. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when I worked in an office, December was basically just taking clients out for lunch. Yeah. Uh, because my sales quarter was done. Uh, for us, it's quite busy. So, but yeah, uh, it's a lovely idea, and I think you know it doesn't even have to be huge gestures. It could be twenty-five really small gifts, almost like a stocking. Mm. What it does also mean, though, is when it comes to Christmas, buying new presents is even more tricky mm. because a lot of the small ideas. But most Christmases, we like to buy something together for the house these days, don't we? Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, it, it doesn't have to be big grand gestures. But this year. Um, yeah, it, it's been trickier than ever because obviously every year I mm -hmm. use up a lot of my experience ideas. Mm. Um, but we always start off the first sort of five or six tend to be smaller yeah. and then they tend to get uh, a bit more um, impressive as we go. Yeah. All right, do you want to take over the filming? Yeah, let's do it. Now, I used to be really, well, I used to try and be clever, probably wasn't that clever, with uh, clues and things like this. Essentially, in each box, and this is the new calendar that we got last year. Yeah. I bought you last year from Fortnum Mason. Inside each box is a clue. Mm -hmm. And then every for each clue, your gift is hidden where the clue okay. leads you in the house. So I found day number one. And we have got a little clue. Where would Dexter want to be drawn like a French girl? Well, I would have said on the chaise long. Yeah, well, yeah. But where would you like to be drawn? In the oak panels drawing room. Yeah, in the drawing room. Draw. Oh, okay. Because yeah. isn't it paint me like one of your French girls? Like your or is French it? It's not girl. draw me like one of your French girls. No. Okay. Right. Of course, it's got to be my first room in the house, and the staircase has now been illuminated because Charlie found some batteries. And into the drawing room, and we're going to be decorating the tree tomorrow because we've run out of energy. Yeah, the tree, I mean, it already looks pretty decorated, but all the decorations... What is this? I ordered it quite a long time ago, actually, because it's personalised. Wow, lockets. Yeah, I British know. brand, mate. I was thinking this year's calendar would be entirely British, but That's it's it's impossible, but... Yeah. I have a sneaky suspicion I know what this might be. Is it a wedding photo album? <coughs> Goodness. 1606. Oh no, I got the date wrong. Can you imagine? January, March, April, May, June. That's quite a nice date, isn't it? 1606. Yeah, yeah. Wow, this is a chunker. Just don't use the date as your pin code for anything, because everyone now knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
my gosh. So yeah, it it's it's a lot chunkier than I thought it would be, which has made me a bit nervous that we're not going to fill it. But we have got a lot of wedding photos. Oh, so we have to fill it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. Do you know what? I think that's a bit of a flaw of the service. Yeah. Well, that would have added to the <laughs> the workload with it. Oh, but, I love this photo. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, but I mean, at least there's enough room in there for your other wedding. Yeah. Your next <laughs> one. And no, I'm really joking. Um, but yeah, I just thought it's quite a nice chunk. It's really good quality, isn't mm -hmm. it? The leather. Mm -hmm. I just thought it would be nice um, to potentially over the festive season when we've got time. Mm -hmm go through all the photos and sort of carefully create them through there. That's beautiful. Um, and then it is hopefully something nice that can just sit on, well, on the ottoman that is soon like to arrive. Such a gap in the market for like really luxury printed photo books. Because like Snapfish do the ones with like the cardboard cover, but they're just not like leather bound. I, I have to be honest, I think old school is best. And I, I, I think people, I think it's a nice journey six to 12 months after your wedding. We're nearly six months after our wedding. I think it's quite a nice journey going through it together and putting the photos in yeah. and deciding which photos should go where. So you, cause I don't know, it's up to you, but mm. I want to tell a story with this book. Yeah. So, so it needs to start with just some pictures of the house. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think it should start with just some old photos of the house. Oh, I don't know. It's or okay, or just just some photos of the house leading up to the wedding. Yeah, like I want it to be a real like storybook well, rather than. Why don't we make it another little vlogmas? I mean, let us know down below if you like this idea. We could every few days we could start working on this throughout vlogmas, and we can share a few memories from our wedding as we get. Maybe yeah, I think it's quite a but personal. Just maybe that means well, no. I just think it's quite a personal thing. So I think as much as we love everyone that subscribes, they've all been very fortunate. They've seen a lot of the wedding. I, th I think it's something probably that we're not going to get to if we're being totally honest with work until end of Christmas when we've got a bit of time off. You've forgotten something. Sweet. Ah, uh, yeah. My trolley burger. Do you know what? They've not even arrived yet, so... <laughs> <laughs> right. No sweet today, Starting mate. <laughs> but what do we think of the Christmas tree? I it looks great. I think it looks really good. It looks incredible. Obviously we haven't decorated it, but Nem and um, I think both Sam and Martina helped Nem put the Quercus Ilex uh, berries into the tree. Oh, is that what they are? No, not oh. Quercus Ilex. Sorry, they're just regular they're, Ilex. They're holly tree berries, yeah. Because yeah. um, Quercus means oak. And Oy, oak. You must be oaking, mate. <laughs> Leaf it out, mate. I need to branch out into some new jokes. You need to get a life. Oh, God, you keep barking on at me. Right, come on. Okay, so this is the world's biggest hydrangea. Can you even see it? Yeah, you can, it's but they are cool. they are mate, amazing. So we are going to do the baubles tomorrow. A little sneak peek. The big decision though, so we've ordered a new balsam, bal this is balsam hill. I think this is its third or fourth year we've had it in here. No, no I think it's only its second. No, it's at least third. Is it third? Definitely not four. We've never had a real tree in here though. No, we haven't. Um, and yeah, so the that was coming for the entrance hall. It's about half the height of this. I think the one in the entrance hall we did do sausage dog theme once, but it, I don't think it really worked because it looked a bit sparse. I think that one needs to be. I think the sausages should go on this one. Is what I'm going to say. Yeah. Alongside loads of more. Yeah, and then I think the one in the entrance hall should be more Cotswold uh, countryside themed. Mm. Do you know what I mean? We have got. Some we have got a low battery like warning, by the way. Huh? Low battery warning. Low battery, okay. We do have some amazing decorations. We've there. built them up over time, haven't we? Yeah, so that's what we're going to do in Vlogmas Day 2. What are you most looking forward to for Vlogmas Day? Ooh, I mean, I just love I just love exploring the Cotswolds when it's like this. Mm -hmm. I, I, do you know what? I, I would not look forward to Christmas if it wasn't all us hosting it. Like, I just love having all my family here, having your family. No, but I love, I love making, I love making the house and getting everything ready for people to come and enjoy it. Yeah. Because this house was meant to be enjoyed by lots of people. It was, and that's something that we haven't mentioned in Vlogmas yet, is that we are hosting Christmas here, as we always do now since we moved, um, which we love doing. So part of Vlogmas is going to be getting ready for that, which is going to be great fun. Boom, boom. 
So my darlings, I think this is where we're gonna end the first day of Vlogmas. I would love to know down below what you are looking forward to seeing um, throughout Vlogmas. If you've got any little Vlogmas requests, then let us know. And um, if you are new to the channel because of Vlogmas, then I'd love you to just introduce yourself in the comment section down below if this is your first time seeing our faces. And any, any final words of Vlogmas day one? Um and stay tuned for this year's mince pie um, analysis. Someone actually commented in the video where I asked for Vlogmas. I'm taking it very seriously this year. Are you actually? Yeah. Well good, because when I did the notebook a few years ago, you barely kept up with the tally system. <sighs> seriously, mince pies I'm taking seriously this year. So where are you going to order them from? <sighs> We're going to have to order them from everywhere. Actually, yeah. in fact, comment your favourite mince pie. Mm brand like is it M&S is it I mean you know we had people saying Aldi was amazing we'll try them all um <laughs> so yeah recommendations down below we're only winner? allowed to was try one a day and we're now on day one of December so we've only got 24 more days so we've only got 24 different mince pies we can try and the okay. winner will be announced what was the winner Christmas. last year it's a really niche one I don't know do you know what Dale's for I like and like they're the almost ones. too bougie. No, I don't like the mini ones. I I'm don't sorry, I don't love like the, the mini new ones. sour cherry ones. Um, M and S ones, but you know what? Sainsbury's Bakery do quite good ones. And this is bearing in mind we don't take ones. into account the health element of these because oh. a they're a sweet treat, but also b I'm pretty sure a lot of them are ultra processed. But I actually don't care. And in you've this case, got to put them in the agar, and you've got to have them with brandy butter. See, I, I, I quite like, that's where it's a good test. You can try them warm. I actually quite like cold mince pies. That is sacrilege. With a coffee. No. I quite like them. No, that is, that's sacrilege. Yep. There you go. Anyway, my darlings, that is it for Vlogmas Day 1. Hope you loved the intro. Let us know um, what you thought of that down below. We may have, I don't know because we haven't filmed it yet, but we may have a little outro coming for you now as well. So, my darlings, thank you for joining.